All right, for this next problem, we're going to use the same data points that we used in the previous problem. If you haven't done that problem, I suggest you go back and take a look at it. We have the points 0, 20 and 3, 27. We want to find the doubling time. So first, understand that this equation can be written as Q of T equals 20 times 1.105 to the T. Or one point, yes, 1.105 to the T. So the question is, at what time do we have twice our initial amount? Our initial amount is 20. So that would mean that 40 is our doubled quantity. So 40 is equal to 20 times 1.105 to the T. Divide by 20 on both sides. 2 is going to equal 1.105 to the T. Now I'd like to take a time out right here and say that this is an equation of growth factors. It's saying when is our annual growth factor going to equal 2, which would be some amount of time for the doubling factor. Now the way to solve this, because the variable is in the exponent, is with logarithms. Now I'm a fan of natural log, so I'm going to use ln of 2 is going to equal t ln of 1.105. So to solve for t, we divide that over. So t is going to equal ln of 2 divided by ln of 1.105, which with some number crunching is equal to 6.929. Assuming that the unit is in years, this means it doubles every 6.9 years, so almost every 7 years. Now the way that we can rewrite the equation is Q of t equals 200, or 20, times 2 to the t over 6.929. This would be the doubling time equation. It says that every 6.929 years we get twice as many whatevers. If this is a population model, people. If this is a financial model, dollars. But this is how we would write the doubling time equation. 